Hi everyone, I'm Mona. I'm 63 Sonotech on YouTube. I'm here to help cel celebrate with all of you Sybil's 51st birthday. And of course she wanted us to do a video response in, in celebration of this great, great day. Um, so one, happy birthday Sybil. I hope it's a wonderful day. And um, enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy all these videos. And I wanted to extend this out to all the people that have made the responses. Oh my gosh, you guys have touched my heart so much. Um, I have enjoyed watching every single one of those videos. I've laughed, I've cried, and I'm thinking, gosh, I thought crafting is what brought us together, but I think in reality, it's life. Because we have shared so many of these same experiences. We've had some of the heartache and tribulations of life together. And we've had some of the fun and joy of life together, too. So um, I just want all of y'all to know that. Oh, my gosh. Um, like all of you, I am camera shy. <laughs> I normally don't. In fact, I've never done this, actually. Um, I'm not a shy person. I'm very outgoing and, you know, kind of life of the party kind of person. But putting yourself on camera, that's a whole nother work. So thanks, Sybil. Um, anyway, um, i got to tell you five things about myself and one crafting thing. Um, so the very first thing I want to talk about is uh, myself, just a little bit. I will turn 50 this year. Um, I have one son. He's 26 years old. We are from Georgia, um, but I have recently moved to Virginia to accept a job here at a big hospital here in Virginia. I am an ultrasound tech, um, and my son graduated college and was working for a archaeological dig company but they all got laid off about two months before I accepted this job in July and so he moved up here with me um, things aren't much better up here he hasn't been on a job up here either um, but you know we're taking it one day at a time uh, I miss my home in Georgia I miss barbecue there's no good barbecue in Virginia but uh, we're gonna try try to make a go of it um, my YouTube name is 63 Sonotech, and that's because I was born in 1963, um, and I'm an ultrasound tech, and everybody always goes, oh my god, you have such a great job, I would love to do this, and, um, because they always think, oh, we see babies, and we see lots of other things, too, and, um, they don't realize all the bad things we see, like, when we see the babies that are dead, and we can't say anything to the parent, you know, we have to wait till it gets to the doctor. Uh, it was probably one of the most heartaching things we had to learn in school was how to keep your face, you know, without showing emotions, and it's very hard. Um, it's sad when we find cancer in people and they don't know it, doctors don't know it, but we know it. Um, so it's, everybody, you know, thinks, wow, it's a great job, but it is so incredibly stressful. It's very rewarding, though, because I get to take care of people in a unique way. They're relying on me not to miss a single thing in their body. It is a huge responsibility, but it's a great responsibility. And I'm grateful that I went back to college later in life. I went my first time. And I went for a business uh, major, and I was in business retail and insurance for forever. And I got really sick, and I decided, hey, I like what they're doing. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Little did I know there's physics involved. <laughs> but I passed it. I passed it flying colors, graduated with honors, so I was really proud about that. Um, the third thing I want to tell you about is one of the things that I would like to set my goal in life will be to write um, a couple of books. One I have already started working on. It's going to be about uh, baseball. It's going to be part factual, part fantasy, um, because women really love baseball. It's not just men. And I think it's kind of to have a woman's perspective on it it'll be really kind of neat and I have a personal background and interest with baseball so um, you know it's going to be I've been working on it I've got 12 chapters written so it's kind of neat I gotta quit moving the camera when I'm doing this um, I would also like to write a book on medicine it's going to be if you only knew and it's going to be the background of what goes on behind the walls of a hospital or a clinical uh, you know environment oh yeah the, that would be a whole other video. This is for Sybil. So <laughs> we'll just keep going with that. And I'd also like to write a, a book about our family history because, wow, uh, we had our genealogy done two years ago and we're still working on it actually, but we had someone start it for us and uh, we were amazed to find out that Elvis Presley's cousin. Uh, we never knew it. My relatives were my family, historical 
part of my historical family is from Mississippi, originally from Virginia, but moved to Mississippi. And um, I have cousins that live in the Memphis area, and I had a cousin that worked at Graceland. Never knew. So it's kind of a wonderful thing. Maybe that's where I get all my singing talent from. <laughs> uh, uh, the other thing I want to tell you about is um, we love to travel. I have been to Hawaii when I graduated high school. I went to Hawaii. I was supposed to go to school, but I found the beach in guys. Um, so I came back home to Georgia with a school in Georgia. Um, but we have traveled, like I said, to Hawaii. I've been to almost every state in the Union. Um, I've been to Europe, but I don't fly anymore. I'm just terrified to fly. So anything we do, we do it by car or by boat on a cruise. Love cruising. Um, so that's basically the five things about me. Um, the crafting, um, when I started doing um, scrapbooking, it was one-dimensional, you know, flat on the paper, nothing like we have now. And what happened was, um, six months, six, the first six months of 2012, I hurt my back, and so I was out and I just started watching YouTube videos. I'm thinking, oh my God, there's a whole community of crafters. So I subscribed to about 200 of you, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, my, I work nights, so when I get home during the day. Um, I get home about 8 o'clock every morning. I First thing I do is have breakfast, change clothes, and then I watch YouTube videos. I try to comment on all of yours. I, I have a hard time keeping up sometimes, um, but I try at least every week to make, put comments on someone's um, uh, page because I really do enjoy and learn so much from all of you. Um, I'm kind of a newbie in the modern crafting world, but I'm really starting to love it. And now that I have a camera that can record, I will probably do many more videos. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and want to wish Sybil a very happy birthday and enjoy this. Uh, it's just a treasure watching everyone and I hope to see all of you very soon. Bye.